here. Oh, hi, Mel's dog. That's the very start of this video. Can't wait for everyone to hear that. Um, okay, so what we've got going on today, we are starting with a bit of core work. Three rounds, 10 hollow rocks, 10 tuck ups, 10 V ups, 10 second hollow hold, and then one minute of rest. The easiest thing uh, for scaling that is going to be just dropping the reps down. Maybe instead of 10 reps of everything, I do seven reps of everything and then seven seconds just to make it a little bit easier on me. The minute rest is gonna be kind of an estimation when everyone looks like they're finished, I'll start a minute clock. Um, so you might get slightly more than a minute, but not too much. We're doing three rounds of that. Um, and then your workout today, we've got 27, 21, 15, nine of thrusters and no push-up burpees. Uh, if you don't have anything to use as a weight for your thruster, we're gonna be doing jumping air squats. That'll be a great uh, substitution instead. Again, you're gonna do 27 reps of each movement, then 21 reps of each movement, then 15, then nine, time. Okay, so this one's trying to go as fast as we can. Uh, the easiest way to, to scale that one is going to be, again, dropping the reps down. Maybe I don't do a set of 27, and I do 21, 15, 12, nine. So I still have those four sets in there, but I take some reps away from 27 and move it down to 12 instead, okay? Um, let's go ahead and start moving. Go ahead, come on up to standing for me. And the first thing I want you to do, go ahead, give me 20 regular jumping jacks, and then 20 across the body, giving yourself a big hug. 20 regular jumping jacks, 20 across the body. Getting yourself moving and grooving today. <laughs> you look so pathetic, Casey. I couldn't move her today, guys. She just really wanted to be here. 20 regular jumping jacks, 20 across the body. Hi, Josh. Once you guys get through that, we're gonna go ahead 20 high knees and then 20 butt kicks. 20 high knees, 20 butt kicks. Every time you bring your leg up is one. Again, 20 of those in place, then 20 butt kicks in place. Then we're gonna grab five sweeps down the leg each side. So you're gonna stick your, toe, uh, your foot out about a foot in front of your opposite leg. You're gonna push your hips back Bending into the back leg, straightening the front leg, and then switching sides. Toes up towards the ceiling, push the hips back. Okay, grabbing that five times each side. Nice stretch through the hamstrings and calves there. Good work. Once you get through that, we're gonna grab five Samson stretches each side. So we're gonna step out into a lunge, reach our arms up overhead. Maybe our knee touches the ground, maybe not. Just starting to open up the front of those hips. Grab five aside of those. You can throw in a little movement side to side, or you can twist if you want. Just kind of feeling out what's gonna sound good to your body today. Ten total, five aside. Once you get through those, we're going to bring our feet to our squat stance. Feet are about shoulder width apart, toes turned out slightly. From here, you're going to grab five air squats. Think about pushing your knees out, keeping your chest up tall as we squat. Now we're gonna do five more with our feet a little wider. So five with your feet about shoulder width, then five with your feet a little wider, and then five with your feet a little closer together. Again, all of these trying to keep our chest up, full foot on the ground. If that means we can't go quite as low, that's okay. I'd rather see you squat a little bit shallower and keep your chest up and heels on the ground 
then be way forward with your chest and have your toes up towards this or heels up towards the ceiling. Good job. Once you get through that, we're going to grab three inchworms. You're going to bow forward, walk yourself out to a plank. From there, we can do a push up. We can do that from our toes, from our knees, whatever you need. And then you're going to walk your hands back to your feet, feeling a nice stretch through your hamstrings. And then reset out to that plank. But three inchworms. Once you get through those inchworms, come on back up to standing. We're going to repeat that entire sequence one more time. So starting all the way back at the top with 20 regular jumping jacks and 20 across the body, giving yourself that hug. But 20 regular jumping jacks, 20 across the body to get started here. I love seeing people enjoying that sunshine outside, couple of you. 20 regular jumping jacks, 20 across the body. See if you can alternate which arms on top. If you're like, I've forgotten what comes next, don't worry, I remember for you, that's my job. We're gonna go 20 high knees, then 20 butt kicks next. 20 high knees, 20 butt kicks. Just starting to feel that heart rate go up a little bit, feeling your body get nice and warm. 20 high knees, 20 butt kicks. Then you're gonna grab five sweeps down the leg, each side. That little, we've got people who call these shoe the ducks. Like there's little ducks on the ground, you're like, shoo away ducks. I don't know why the ducks are bothering you that you need to shoo them, but you do you. You deal with the ducks how you need to. 10 total, five a side on those shoe the ducks or sweeps. And then you're grabbing those Samson stretches again. So five aside, reach those arms up tall. If you prefer a groiner, staying down on the ground with this, you could do that instead. It's gonna be really similar, just getting into your hips. Go ahead, five aside of those 10 total, either groiners or Samson stretch. As you're working through them, again, don't be afraid to add that little side movement, twisting, doing what you need to, to feel a nice stretch, to feel your body open up after whatever you've been doing in your day so far, maybe sitting at your desk a lot, or gardening, or I don't know, playing video games. Just starting to open up your body. Once we're through that, we're back to standing, and you're back to five air squats with your feet in your normal stance, then five with your feet a little wider, and then five with your feet a little narrower. 15 total squats, five with each foot position, about shoulder width, wider, narrower. 15 total air squats. Good job, Jose. Nice work, Jordan. And then you've got three inch worms. So bowing forward, walking out to that plank, grabbing your push up, and then walking back in three times. If you want to play around with widening your feet here, You'll just get a little different stretch through the hamstrings with that slightly wider feet. If you have super tight hamstrings, wider might actually feel a little better for you. Put three inchworms. I'm gonna adjust my screen down. 
for our next piece. Once you guys get through your inchworms, you're gonna come on down to your back sides. And we'll start reviewing our movements for that first portion of the day, that skill piece. First thing I want you to do, come on down to your backs and I want you to reach those legs out straight, arms overhead. And I want you to give me five straight leg sit-ups. Just sit up, try to reach forward, tap those hands to your toes or as close as you can get to them, five times. Once you get through that, we're gonna stay on our backs, tee the arms out. You're gonna take your left foot towards the ceiling and take it over towards your right hand. And then you'll come to the middle, right foot up, over towards your left hand, grabbing that reverse scorpion three times each side. Maybe some of them were doing that twist with bent knees. Just again, finding what's gonna feel good to you today. Grab just a nice little spinal twist here to start. And just come to seated. Our first movement today is a hollow rock. So hollow body, all of us have a natural curve in our low back, that's our lumbar spine. The goal of our hollow body is to tighten our core, bring our shoulders and hips towards one another to take that curve away. So I'm gonna start doing that by bringing my knees and my chest, shoulders off the ground. I'm just gonna rock along that low back five times. So I try that out. Hopefully you're feeling your core work a little bit for you there. That is essentially the start of a hollow rock. To make that harder, I'm gonna start releasing my hands. Maybe I reach them up overhead, maybe I straighten my legs. Or maybe I'm able to send those legs long, but I should still be maintaining that curve in my low back, taking out that arch. So I don't want to be here rocking where there's this big like crash landing on the back side. I want to be hugging my ribs down, feeling that core engage to maintain that tight rock shape. So I try five of those. Again, you can have this be your movement, or you can keep the knees hugged in with your hands if you need to. All options are great. That is movement number one. Next is a tuck up. So I'm gonna be in essentially that same position that I was just in, but I'm balancing on my tailbone. So instead of being laid down on my back, I'm balancing up here. And then I'm gonna lay back to that hollow body and then tuck my knees back into my chest. So lay back, hug back in. For some of us, it might be a little bit smaller of a movement, and that's okay. Go ahead and try five tuck ups. If the tuck ups are hard, maybe you stick to the hollow rock for a couple more sets or a couple more reps. That's movement number two. So we've got hollow rock, tuck up. Next is a V up. I'm doing the same thing as a tuck up, but I'm keeping my legs straight. That's a harder variation. So if the V up is difficult for you, instead, just go back to more tuck ups instead. Okay, go ahead and try three to five V ups or maybe go back to tuck ups. Nice, Rosie, good job, Monica. Then last but not least is the hollow hold. So you're back to this position. This could be hugging here, arms here or overhead. Maybe I straighten my legs, maybe I lower them down. So I'm trying to hold this position for 10 seconds at the end. But find that shape for yourself, whatever variation it's gonna be. Again, feet can be up towards the ceiling. Arms can be forward or overhead. And relax. So the 10 seconds is gonna be, for you guys, uh, the one that you kinda need to just be keeping track of on your own. I would say it's about five breaths, if you're counting your breaths. Or you could have like your watch going or a uh, 
phone going for your timer. I'm going to start this clock, but it's not necessarily going to be the easiest thing in the world to see. Your other option is to start with the 10 second hold and then go into hollow rocks, tuck ups, V ups. Okay. So once again, this is what we're doing for the first part, three rounds, 10 hollow rocks, 10 tuck ups, 10 V ups, 10 second hollow hold. If tuck ups are hard or V ups are hard, then we're going to go hollow rock, tuck up, tuck up, hollow hold. If you want to start with the hollow hold, then just go hollow hold, hollow rock, tuck up, V up. Uh, lots of options there. Okay. Are we ready? Throw out some thumbs up. We're going to do three rounds of this guy. Doing it together, starting in 10 seconds. Again, you could opt to go with a hollow hold first if you prefer. Wait in three, two, one, go. 10 hollow rocks or a 10 second hollow hold to start. There's 10 seconds. After your hollow rocks, you have tuck ups. Tucking those knees into your chest. If this is difficult, maybe you drop the reps down or change the movement up. After tuck-ups, we have V-ups. After V-ups, we have 10-second hold. Or hollow rocks. Good job, Eileen. Nice work, Joe. Good work, guys. Good. And we'll relax. You got a minute rest before we start again. So minute rest, we'll go again at the 210 mark on my clock. Got a little time to rest here. If you want to grab a little seal stretch, get that belly starting to open up here between your reps, you can do that or between your sets. We're doing that two more times. Gonna get those cores so strong, guys. Trying to just breathe and relax as much as you can before your next set. Starting in 10 seconds. Going in three, two, one, go. Good job, Elizabeth. There's 10 seconds. Hollow rocks to tuck ups. Good job, Rosie. Tuck ups to V ups. Nice job, Jose. 10 second hold to finish. Good work, Monica. Keep it up, Joe. If you need to take a quick break between reps or movements, go for it. Try your best to finish it out. Nice job, Mel. As people all wrap up, I will look at the clock and we'll rest a minute. Good job, guys. Minute rest is starting now. If round two was like extra horrible for you and a bit of a struggle, maybe you drop the reps down on this last round through. Maybe instead of doing 10 of everything, I do seven of everything or five of everything, just to make it a little bit quicker and easier on yourself. 
If you're ever looking for just a nice little core piece to do real quick, this is a great little sequence that I love. We'll start at 435 here on this clock. So a couple more seconds still before our last round through. Just three rounds total, not too many. If you're ever wanting to do this on your own, I'd uh, recommend maybe going to five rounds if you want it to be a little bit longer of a piece for you. We'll get started here in five, three, two, one, go! Good job, Jordan. Good job, Gazelle. Hollow rocks to tuck ups. Tuck ups to V ups. Keep it up, Monica. V ups to hold. Good work, guys. Keep it up, Josh. Nice job, Gazelle. Almost done there, guys. Good job, Joe. Finish it out, Rosie. Good work. As you're finishing up, I'd recommend flipping over to your belly's pressing into your hands if that's too intense. You can do it from your elbows. That'll be a little bit less intense on your low back. Just grab about five deep breaths here. Trying to feel that core start to open up after a lot of flexion there through the belly. Then you guys can start to relax. Come on back up to seated. Um, again, I'm gonna flash the workout portion, erase part number one for you. Just so we can see it again here while you're resting for another moment. 27, 21, 15, nine. Thrusters are jumping air squats and no push-up burpees. Okay, so I'll show this to you one more time before we do the workout. Um, but those are our two movements that we are working with, either that uh, jumping your squat or squat and press. Go ahead, come on up to standing and give me three more air squats. Three more air squats. Okay. The goal is to progress that further for the workout today. If you don't have any weight, then you're gonna be doing a jumping air squat where I do my squat and then leave the floor at the top. If I have a weight, which I don't have one today, um, but we'll pretend, if I had a weight, I would have it in my at my uh, shoulder. I'm gonna squat and then press overhead at the top. So I squat down, stand, press overhead. If you have a weight, go ahead and grab that now and give me two reps each side or give me four thrusters total or four jumping air squats. Four reps, how you're gonna do them. Squat and press. Okay. You'll notice that it's an odd number of reps. So if you are doing a single arm movement, You'll end up doing one extra on one side than the other. I don't think it's a huge deal, but if you prefer to do 28, 22, 16, 10 instead, just like if your brain really can't handle the odd number, I'm okay with that. Um, or you could just make, um, actually I think you might end up being even. 
Math is hard and I don't want to do it right now. But anyways, uh, okay. So that is the thruster and jumping air squat. Any questions on that movement? Cool. Next is the no push-up burpee. So come on back up to standing. From here, I'm going to bring my hands down to the ground. I can bend my knees to do that. And then I'm gonna jump or step back to a plank. I don't wanna let my hips sag. Then I'm gonna bring my feet back forward and then clap overhead at the top. Go ahead, give me three of those. Hands down to the ground. Jump or step back, jump or step forward, and stand. Three of those. And then we're gonna go ahead back to your dumbbell and go ahead, give me two more reps each side or four more total. Back to your thrusters. or jumping air squats. After that, give me three more no push-up burpees. Just one more little baby round here. Good work. Okay, we will get this thing going in about two minutes. Um, in the meantime, let yourself kind of recover a little bit from those little baby rounds. Grab a drink, a bathroom break if you need it. I will again flash the workout one more time. 27 dumbbell thrusters, or maybe it's a wall ball thruster, or maybe it's a soup can thruster, or jumping air squats instead. Then no push-up burpees. Again, you'll do 27 reps of each. 21 reps of each, 15, 9, as fast as you can. If you have questions, unmute yourself or type it into the chat area. Josh has nicely typed up the rep scheme in there if you need to see it there as well or instead of what I've shown you. We'll get going in about one more minute. The goal is to get this workout done under 15 minutes. Most people have been doing it like in the eight to 12 minute range, I'd say, from what I've seen so far. So you guys should be just great to do that. When you finish, we'll kind of come back together for just a little stretch at the very end. So when you finish, you can start just kind of walking around, grabbing any stretching you like, but we'll come back together one more time at the very end. So, uh, throw out some thumbs up when you're ready to go. Rosie, good, Gazal, good. Mel, are you around? Where's Mel? We'll wait about, there he is. He's ready. Okay, guys. Um, again, 27, 21, 15, and nine. We are starting in. 10 seconds. Do your best to look at the clock when you finish. You can look at my screen or maybe you have a clock going in your house. Going in three, two, one, go! Thrusters to start or jumping air squats. Squat and stand hard, either to press overhead or to jump off the earth. Good job, Jose. Good work, Monica. Nice job, Eileen. Keep it up, Joe. Nice work, Gazelle. Nice and smooth pace, guys. Good job, Jordan. 27, no push-up burpees after your thrusters. Down to the ground, jump or hop back to plank, back up to standing. Do your best to not let those hips sag at the bottom. Good job, Mel. Let's go, Joe. 
Keep it up, Josh. Twenty seven reps here. Every round's going to get a little easier. We're going to 21 next. You guys are already two minutes in. Good job, Jordan. When you finish 27 of your burpees, you're back to your thrusters for 21. Good job, Jose. Keep it up, Rosie. Good job, Josh. Go, Monica, 21 thrusters. Squat and press. Drop some legs. Good work, Gazelle. If you like the thrusters better, try to push your pace on those a little bit harder. If you prefer the no push up burpees, try to excel there and maybe take a break or two in the thrusters to go faster on the no push up burpees. Knowing where you're gonna push, where you're gonna maybe take a second. Just try to get your fastest time on this one. Good job, Jordan. 21 thrusters, then 21. No push up burpees. Good job, Joe. Keep it up, Mel. Good job, guys. We're four minutes in. Let's go, Eileen. Keep it up, Mel. Nice job, Jordan. Remember, we can jump or step back to that plank. Whatever is going to be more efficient for you. Good job, Joe. Keep pushing, Gazelle. Nice job, Josh. Good work, Monica. Take a couple breaths. Let's go, Rosie. Way to get right back to those thrusters. After 21, you have 15 reps of each movement. 15 thrusters, squat and press. As you get into that set of 15, we're well past halfway. I know it feels like there's a lot to go still, but do your best to keep pushing. You're past the halfway mark. Just closing it out. Good 
Good job, Elizabeth. Let's go, Eileen. Keep it up, Mel. You guys are doing a great job. We're about seven minutes in. Getting into that time frame where people are starting to finish it up. Good job, Josh. Let's go, Jose. Keep working, guys. Nice job, Monica. Let's go, Joe. Remember, as you finish up, try to take a peek at the screen so you can catch what your time is for today. Nice job, Rosie. Let's go, Jordan. Guys are eight minutes in. Good job, Josh. Let's go, Gazelle. After 15 reps of both movement, you've got nine reps to go on thrusters or jumping air squats and nine no push-up burpees. Last little bit of work, nine and nine. Good job, Joe. Good work, Mel. Good job, Josh. Guys are about nine minutes in. <laughs> Casey's got a great hollow position, it's true. Good job, Gazelle. Good work, Jordan. Almost there, Joe. Keep it up, Jose. Good work, Gazelle. Again, guys, grabbing a little stretch for yourself as people are finishing up here. I think we're pretty much done. Excellent job today. Everybody around that 10 minute mark or less. So to close out, grabbing a nice little stretch here, a couple options. Um, if your quads are feeling really tight and tired, um, we can find this kneeling position on the ground and then just kind of start to lean our weight back, feeling a little stretch through the tops of our legs. If you're like, that is gonna be really uncomfortable on my knees, then I can take myself into this groiner position and then bring my chest up, or I can use the wall to take that back foot up and get a little, a little deeper stretch through that front quad. So again, I will be against the wall, bring that back foot up into the wall. And you can hold that for about 10 breaths each side, about 30 seconds to a minute would be great. And that'll be all for today. Just grabbing that little stretch, taking care of your bodies to close it out. If there's another area you're wanting to work on, let me know. And I would happily give you maybe a little stretch for that as well. Um, feel free to type your times into the chat area as you finish up. Thanks so much, Mel. We can call it a day.